What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the UU tier. Today we have a pretty cool team. I'm using Electivire in the tier. Uh, it's normally an NU mon, but I decided to bring it up to this tier just for fun. Uh, we're bringing a, a Motor Drive Expert Belt set with Wild Charge Earthquake. Signal Beam is for, uh, for Celebi and Ice Punch. Very nice set. Capable of uh, Okoing Defensive Sylveon from like 60-70%, so really, really strong uh, with that 123 attack. Next, we have a uh, Gyarados, because Gyarados baits electric moves, which means that I can either get the motor drive here, or of course with Mega Sceptile's lightning rod ability, that's also nice. Uh, so we have the uh, standard setup Gyarados set right here. Uh, then we have an AV Dawn Fan with Rapid Spin to get rid of hazards, Earthquake Knockoff Ice Shard, a uh, slightly defensive Rotom Heat, uh, which is really nice for taking some hits. Also has a great speed tier, hitting above the uh, base. Uh, base 80s and then we have uh, Mega Sceptile which we already mentioned and uh, defensive Registeel mixed defensive I wanted it to be able to take hidden power fires from Sylveon as well as take a lot of physical hits uh, basically this is my Gyarados check I'm able to seismic toss and break its sub uh, as well as thunder waving it if I need to so that's pretty much the set uh, let's move on. That's the team. Excuse me. <laughs> let's move on get a game Hopefully we can get one rather quickly. It is uh, quite early. It's 9 44 a.m. As I'm recording this so uh, We'll see if we can get a couple of games as we do immediately, which is nice uh, My opponent has a lead as elf, which is really cool I'm probably just gonna lead with Don fan and knock it off uh, Don fan doesn't have a terrible matchup at all in this game. Uh, it actually handles Cobalion, Entei B drill very well, so I think I'm just gonna lead off with Don Fan to start a timer on my man. What is his name? Toilet PK? Toilet PK, alright. Um, yeah, so Don Fan looks like it puts in a lot of work. He doesn't have any electric moves, so I don't get the uh, motor drive. He does lead off with Feraligator though, so a little unfortunate for us. Uh, I do have a pretty good answer, solid answer in, uh, to this in Registeel. Takes a hit quite nicely, goes for the waterfall. You can see that only does 37%. I will be able to Thunder Wave something on my opponent's team now. If he wants to go for a Dragon Dance, that's fine. He actually chooses to switch into his Entei to get it Thunder Waved, which is awesome. I may or may not stay in here. I think Rotom is probably my best play, uh, as it cannot be burned. Um, I will die to a, uh, to a Sacred Fire, I believe. So, yeah, Rotom is going to be my play. Uh, if he gets off a lot of damage for whatever reason, then I can always Pain Split it off. It doesn't do that much, luckily. Uh, I don't know if that's actually banded damage, but uh, anyway, we're just going to Volt Switch out here. He actually chooses to stay in, as I will go into my Gyarados now. Hopefully not get burned, get off an Intimidate drop. Uh, as he goes for another Sacred Fire, he hits it, and he does get the burn, unfortunately. So that's going to hinder us immensely. Uh, I do see him switching out here, more than likely into his Cobalion, as now he can take me on. Uh, knowing that, I can probably switch back into Dawn Fan here. Uh, I don't want him burning me again, though. That's the thing. I don't have a heal beller on this team. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do is go back into Rotom uh, in case he decides to stay in. But he does go Kubalion, as predicted. Uh, this thing doesn't match up too well against me, so I can actually probably just go for a Will-O-Wisp right here as he goes for the Volt Switch. Uh, anything burned is, is good for me. Uh, he does go into Entei, though. That's fine. I'm going to go for uh, another Volt Switch right now, just weakening this Entei because it is a little bit of an issue, especially the Registeel, which handles most of his team. going to go back into Gyarados. Gyarados doesn't do much this match anyway, so it's fine that I let it get burned now that I'm looking at it. He does go for the Edge. That proves to me that he's banded right there. I do get to go into Registeel now and throw off some Stealth Rocks. Uh, his best play is probably to go directly into Cobalion on this thing, as he does. Uh, threatening me with a close combat, but that's fine. I'm gonna throw out another thunder wave I should be able to live his close combat. He goes for a volt switch actually uh, I think Entei dies to a seismic toss. It should if it doesn't have any HP investment. Actually, it always dies. Yep So goodbye Entei that thing's dealt with and now he doesn't really have anything for this Registeel I mean unless his uh, his Hydreigon has fire blast, but even that that's not knocking me out from full So I'm definitely getting off another thunder wave right here. He actually chooses to go into Azelf not exactly sure why. Uh, I'm just going to go into Dawn Fan because I can spin infinitely on this thing. As he does go for the Flamethrower, we are AV. We're able to eat that up. He does have a uh, Life Orb. I should be able to hit, eat up pretty much any hit. Uh, he goes for an Energy Ball, except for that one. Okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, I can now go into uh, Sceptile, probably just throw out a Leaf Storm at this point. Uh, nothing really wants to take it. The Rocks are up, so his Beedrill's not going to appreciate it either. And I think that is going to be, well, maybe Dragon Pulse is better. Let me actually just calc that. Um, it should be able to take him out. Sceptile. Mega Sceptile. OU All Out Offensive versus Zelf. Uh, let's say it's a uh, nasty plot set, whatever. Uh, Dragon Pulse does 69 min. Yeah, so it is enough to take him out. Just going to go into uh, Sceptile right here. Just going to fire off a Dragon Pulse. Uh, he doesn't have a good switch into this thing, so 
Uh, Kobalion takes a Focus Blast thereafter. He's really, really weak to Mega Sceptile now that Entei's gone. And uh, only Scarfed, uh, Scarfed Hydreigon can save him. So that Dragon Pulse is going to be able to take out his Elf. Does choose to go into Beedrill. I expect the Protect on this turn, which is why I'm actually going to go into my Registeel. Uh, not Drill Run, definitely shouldn't come out right here. Uh, as he does go for a U-turn, actually, risking the fact that I might Dragon Pulse again. Uh, goes into Cobalion, that's fine. I expect a uh, close combat here. Nothing I can really do about that, though. I'm just going to throw out a T-Wave. I do need this for Beedrill, though. So I might switch out. Uh, what do I need Evire for? It outspeeds the Feraligatr more than likely. Able to knock it out with a Wild Charge. Gets off a lot of damage on anything. Um, I like Rotom here. I like uh, going directly into Rotom. He does go for the close combat. It's not uh, able to knock me out. He lowers his defenses in the process. Uh, the next one will be able to knock me out, but then I'll be able to go into Sceptile and just revenge him, so it's not too bad. Also, Beedrill and uh, Mega Sceptile, I believe, speed tie, so that'll be interesting to see. I'm going to go for the Pain Split in case, for whatever reason, he doesn't decide to, uh, to close combat me again. And... Now he's extremely weak, uh, I could just go into Electivire and fire off a Wild Charge or an Ice Punch even, trying to catch the Hydreigon. Um, yeah, and I think that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go Evire and I'm just going to Ice Punch, because if he stays in it'll still do a lot, uh, because he'll have minus 3 defenses, and if he swaps out into Hydreigon that's perfect. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, I would hope Beedrill, let's go, come on, <laughs> go into Beedrill on me please. Um, but in all seriousness, I think uh, I think Sceptile just wins this game, as long as his Hydreigon is down. And uh, if I can win a speed tie with Beedrill, pretty much. So his Hydreigon is going to come in on my Ice Punch, which is awesome, as we are able to knock that thing down to 7%. And he can go for whatever move he wants right now. I'm assuming the Draco, or the Dark Pulse actually, is more than likely to come out. Uh, I'm just going to throw out another Ice Punch right here. He does go for the Fire Blast, actually, trying to catch my Registeel, I guess. does burn me in the process. It's not a big deal. I was only using Evire to knock out Hydreigon right there. He'll be able to go out into Beedrill, let it take damage, which is awesome. He might go for the Drill Run right here. Uh, so I'm actually just going to fire off an Earthquake. He does go for the uh, Drill Run. Awesome. And, uh, in fact, we do Speed Tie. So, uh, Registeel is always my play, though, no matter what. And I just go for a Thunder Wave right here. He does go for the U-Turn. Drill Run won't be able to kill me. That's why I'm making this play. He does go into Gator, which is awesome. As we'll be able to... I really feel like switching out into Sceptile right here. Because I don't see him going for an Ice type move. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into Sceptile. I might lose the game by doing this. But he actually gets fully parried on that turn. So very unfortunate for our opponent. I think Giga Drain knocks it out. Uh, let's check with uh, for Alligator. The uh, UU Dragon Dance set, Giga Drain does 99 mins, so it's definitely my play every time. So we take out the Feraligator right there. Beedrill comes back in, and at this point, this thing, like, I mean, even if he Drill runs, it's okay, right? Because then I come back in with Sceptile and I have to risk a Speed Tie anyway, so. I definitely go into Registeel right here as he goes for the Drill Run. Uh, only does 35, so actually will be able to uh, throw off another Thunder Wave right here as he goes for a U-Turn. And I don't think Cobalion's uninvested close combat can take out, because um, I don't think he's he's fully uh, he's fully invested in attack. I think he's like um, yeah, like 112 something like that. His close combat can definitely not knock out our um, our Sceptile. So I'm gonna switch directly into it. Might be a bad play, but I don't have another one. He goes for the close combat, does 78, okay, so he was a little more invested than I thought he was. But I can just throw out a Focus Blast right now, connect, knock out the Cobalion, and as we saw before, uh, Registeel should be able to... Actually, hold on, I left it at 27. Okay, so we can't live a Drill Run, we have to win this Speed Tie right here. Gonna go for Pulse, and we do win the Speed Tie, so down goes the B Drill, we get our second win of the episode, and we'll move on to the next game. My opponent has... An interesting rain team with uh, Kabutops and Kingdra. Uh, I don't fare too well against rain, but it's not too bad either because I do have the Registeel, which is mixed defensive. Uh, as long as I don't let it take too much damage, I should be good to go. Um, I think, all in all, Rotom is probably my best lead in general. Um, yeah, Rotom, definitely. He leads off with the Azelf, which is good. We're able to Volt Switch out here. I'm going to go directly into Donphan on this thing. Uh, as he will more than likely just set up rocks as he does. Awesome, we're able to get a big Volt Switch off. Go into our Dawn Fan, and I'm just gonna click Knock Off right here, I think. Uh, is fine, is a decent play. 
Uh, he goes for the Rain Dance. Uh, we're able to knock off his Damp Rock, so he will have Rain up for a few turns. Uh, again, I do have the um, the Registeel, and I have Gyarados, so it's not too bad. Uh, he goes into Kingdra, so this is fine. Um, do I want to... I need to get rid of these rocks at some point, because Rotom is actually pretty crucial in this game. Um, it deals with the uh, with the Tornadus, it deals with the Heliolisk. If his Kabutops is slower than me outside of rain, then it deals with that as well. So, what do I need? What do I need to do here? Um, Sceptile's not bad, he's probably not gonna go for a Dragon move right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into Registeel and see how that works out. <laughs> Uh, probably gonna take a lot of damage from this Kingdra as he actually misses Hydro Pump, so very unfortunate for our opponent. Uh, I'm just gonna throw out a Thunder Wave now, which means that I'll be able to be faster. Okay, yeah, that definitely did a lot. Uh, gonna go for the T-Wave right there. Gonna throw out my Rocks now. I don't need this Registeel for anything else on his team. It was really only here for Kingdra, and it was able to paralyze it, which makes it pretty much useless. And now I can bring in Sceptile, and I think knock this thing out from full Kingdra. Uh, UU, Rain Sweeper. Dragon Pulse is able to knock this thing out from full, so Sceptile is definitely my play every time. He doesn't have a switch into a Dragon Pulse, so we'll be able to uh, to knock it out right here. He can then go into his um, into Kabutops if he wants to, and threaten me with a uh, Stone Edge, but I'll make a play in, uh, in accordance with that. We'll see what happens. I definitely need to keep this thing alive, uh, because... Okay, he goes into Tornadus, surprisingly. Is this thing Scarfed? Because it'll die to a Dragon Pulse too, dude. Um, I think Rotom's my play. Because he's probably going to go for the flying move, right? What has better Spadef, Rotom or Electivire? Rotom does, but Electivire gets less rock damage when it comes in. So I'm going to go into Evire, actually. As um, our opponent goes for a Hurricane, we are able to take only 40% from that, which is very nice. And now I can just throw off a Wild Charge, right? Um, yeah, because I'd rather this Evire go down now. He actually chooses to go into Heliolisk, which is great, uh, because after this damage, Sceptile will be able to knock this thing out, and it is leftovers, so that's great. Gonna go for an Earthquake right here. He does still have the priority Rain Dance online, so I'm gonna have to be careful with Rain Turns. Uh, very, very careful, especially because that Crawdon's still around. He goes for Hyper Voice. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Sceptile now, get another Knockout, and, uh, did the Tornado show what item it was holding? Uh, no, it didn't, nothing happened after it went for Hurricane, so. I'm just gonna go for a, uh, for a Giga Drain right here, because it will be able to knock out the Heliolisk, bring us back up to 92%. And now, pretty much, the, uh, the Tornadus has to come in. Now, should he go for a Rain Dance right here, I get to knock out his Tornadus, which is great. Because then I can bring in my Gyarados on his, um, on the Kabutops. Um, later on and intimidate it and then switch out into Dawn Fan, switch back into Gyarados, play a little, a couple of mind games, make sure that I still have my Rotom around for the Crawdont as we are able to outspeed it. Uh, I don't think that Aqua Jet knocks me out. I actually think I need Sceptile the most, but I don't think he's Scarfed. I don't think he's Scarfed, so I'm gonna go for Pulse. He goes for Rain Dance, that's Prankster, so that's definitely not Scarfed. Uh, now we have to be very, very careful with Rain Turns, so... He goes into Kabutops. I'm expecting the um, the rock move to come out here, so I'm gonna go into Dawn Fan as we get uh, the Stone Edge to come out. Is he Life Orb? He is. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna go into Gyarados on the Water move, be able to eat it up. I'm gonna switch back into Dawn Fan and get one last Intimidate off on this thing, and then we'll play from there. He goes for the Waterfall, does 34%, it's a good amount. I'm gonna go back into Dawn Fan. I need to wear this thing down uh, as he goes, and uh, minus two Stone Edge shouldn't be able to uh, to knock out Sceptile, so uh, he actually misses that edge, which is not great. Um, what do I need to do here? How do I kill off all this rain? Do I need Rotom for anything? I don't think I do, but I think my best play is to go into Gyarados regardless, because I get off that extra Intimidate. And now I'm pretty sure Kabutops' is, um, Stone Edge doesn't knock out our Sceptile. Kabutops. It has a lot of attack, but it's not ridiculously powerful. Um, Life Orb, Stone Edge. Normally does 87 to 103. Yeah, so unless he gets a crit, which is a possibility because there is a high crit chance. Not sure if I want to play around with that. K 
Can I kill off the rain another way? Not really. Yeah, I have to go into Sceptile on this turn because he still has three turns of rain. So I have to go for a Giga Drain right here. And uh, should he connect this Stone Edge, even a banded Aqua Jet from uh, Crawdon, because it's quad resisted, I don't think it takes me out in the rain. Uh, oh, you Swords Dance, like, let's give you a Choice Band real quick. Choice Banded Aqua Jet in the rain only does 20 to 24%. And from Adamant, it does 27 max. So, he actually does get the crit on the Stone Edge. Uh, we missed that, but uh, he was able to knock us out right there. That's really unfortunate. Um, he's at minus two, though. Uh, yeah, no, he, you shouldn't give in, man. He's saying, I won't give in, I won't give in. Um, how do I win this game? Yeah, there's no way now, because he has Aqua Jet online. I'm going to go into Don Fan. Don Fan will not be able to live this waterfall. I'm 100% sure. Just gonna go for Earthquake. Yep, he's gonna knock us out right there, and that's gonna be GG. Unfortunately, lose to a crit Stone Edge. He lands it too. I think he, he no, he missed one Stone Edge, so I guess it's deserved. But uh, we played around it the best we could. We're gonna get one last one here, guys, and we have uh, Suicune, which is uh, destroyed by Sceptile, which is nice. So is Crawdon. So is okay. Yeah, he's got a very Sceptile weak team. As long as I can knock out the Florges, I should be good to go. Uh, I'm just gonna lead with. Um, Registeel probably has the best lead matchup against this team, as he leads with Nidoqueen, so not the best, not the worst. I think I'm just going to throw up rocks. He shouldn't go for an Earth Power on turn 1. I have a lot of switch-ins, so we'll see. Might go for an Ice Beam, predicting either Sceptile or, uh, or Gyarados to come in, which wouldn't be a bad play. I'm just going to get up my rocks as soon as possible. He does have Dawn Fan as a spinner, but it's okay. He's probably going to get his rocks. I assume Dawn Fan is like an AV set, and this thing is... Uh, stealth rocks, yep. Alright, and uh, now now we predict the uh, the Earth Power and go into Gyarados on this thing. As he does in fact go for the Earth Power, we'll get our leftovers. We should be faster than this, always. Yep, and uh, now I can just throw out a Waterfall and uh, knock out his Nidoqueen with a crit. Awesome, so there's, uh, there's that crit coming back for us because I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have taken it out. Uh, it's pretty bulky. He goes into Suicune. Um, I can sub up on this, always, unless he's Roar, uh, which he is, okay, so he does Roar us out, into Sceptile, which is awesome, uh, I'm actually just gonna throw off a Leaf Storm right now, because, uh, damages the floor just the most, and then we'll switch out afterwards, it's fine, uh, Leaf Storm only does 30 36%, wow, yo, you're weak, man, um, gonna go into, uh, Registeel here, as, uh, he's probably gonna throw up a Wish, uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Dawn Fan, which is great. This is awesome, because I get to uh, throw up a Seismic Toss on this thing. Basically, even if he Rapid Spins, this is fine, because uh, his Floor just is now at 58, so that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go for another Toss right here. As he goes for a knockoff, gets rid of our leftovers, that's fine. Uh, he should go for an Earthquake on this turn at this point. Uh, I'm going to go into Rotom now, and basically just get a burn on something. Let's see what he does. He does go for the Earthquake. Awesome. And we are able to Will-O-Wisp something, which is going to be the Florges. Let's see if it has Aromatherapy on the following turns. Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out of here and uh, go into my own Dawn Fan and threaten something with an Earthquake. But I might just spin. We'll see. Uh, spinning would not be bad for me at all. Let's go into Dawn Fan. He does go for a Wish. I think he has to Protect here. So I'm just going to uh, Earthquake. If he doesn't protect, then he's leaving his floor just in range of Giga, Giga Drain plus Burn. So he can't do that. He'll straight up lose to Sceptile. He's got to be extremely careful how he plays around this. I'm just going to start the timer on him, put a little pressure on. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go against this team. I don't see uh, I don't see a realistic way that we could lose. Um, well, I mean, Roarcoon and Beedrill are a little bit annoying, but I'm going to go for Spin right here. As he does switch out into Suicune, we're able to get rid of the rocks, which is nice. As now he can't just roar us around for free. I'm expecting a Scald to come out. There's nothing I can really do about that. I'm just going to go into Sceptile again. Now with his floor just burned, though, this is looking good. Goes for the Scald. Does not get the burn, so that's awesome. I'm just going to throw out a Giga Drain right here. His floor just can come back in. That's fine. We're going to be weakening this thing. Uh, get it down to a good amount of uh, health right there. 49. Um... If I get a Leaf Storm crit, I knock this thing out. So again, he has to be careful with that. I'm going to go back into Registeel now. And uh, get back up my rocks at this point. 
Uh, yeah, just Stealth Rock. He can go into his Dawn Fan, that's fine. Uh, he actually goes into Crawdont, okay. Uh, he already knocked off my item, so I'm not too scared of this thing. I'm just gonna go for a Thunder Wave now. As his uh, floor just is sitting at 43% and comes in on Burn. He goes for a Swords Dance, that's fine. I get to th throw off a Thunder Wave here. He's actually Lum. Uh, again, that's not a big deal because I still have Sceptile in the back. So I'm just gonna throw out another Thunder Wave now. He's gonna go for Knock Off. It's gonna fail to knock us out because we are defensive. And uh, we're gonna throw out a Seismic Toss now. I don't really... Well, hold on a second. Uh, we already know that Beedrill's Drill Run does about 35% to us, so I don't really need this. I can just use Dawn Fan to check the uh, the Beedrill, so it's all good. Just gonna go for a Seismic Toss right here as he goes for a Knock Off. And now my opponent has no switch into Sceptile at this point. So I'm just gonna throw off a Giga Drain and get a little bit more health back. Uh, Floor just can't switch in on me. Nothing can. Like, Beedrill can technically, but then it's outsped. Goes for the Aqua Jet, that's gonna do nothing. Gonna get all my health back with Giga Drain, go back up to 99%. And now the floor just comes in and it's in range of a Leaf Storm, as we saw before. Uh, it does 36%, so I'm just going to throw that out. He does go down to it. We are able to eliminate the biggest special wall on his team. And uh, now I guess, like, the Beedrill can come in and threaten me. Or he actually goes into Dawn Fan, okay. Uh, well, I'm actually just going to Leaf Storm this as well and knock it out. <laughs> no problem. Able to keep rocks up as well, which is good because the Beedrill can't U-turn out forever. And Sceptile is pretty much just going to win this game at this point. Uh, I'm going to sack off my Gyarados as he goes for probably a Protect, I would assume. Uh, he actually just goes straight for the Poison Jab, so good play. Um, knowing that I can't knock him out, obviously. I'm just going to go for Waterfall at this point. He goes for another Poison Jab. And I'm going to go straight into Rotom on this turn because we won't get knocked out by anything. I can just go for a Volt Switch, and then if he stays in, I go into Dawn Fan. If he switches out, I go into Sceptile. That's basically how this is going to work. And uh, that should be good game from here on, man. It's looking good. Looking good. Nice team. I really like this, actually. Evire didn't put in too much work, but uh, I'll still give it the thumbnail. You know, it's, uh, it's a cool mod. Did a little bit. of got a huge Ice Punch off on that Hydreigon in that one game, so. He actually goes for a U-turn. Uh, allowing me basically to uh, weaken his Suicune immensely with the Volt Switch and Giga Drain combination. Uh, this is going to do 40% 40, uh, 40 so that's easy territory for Sceptile's Giga Drain. If he wants to go into Beedrill, again he's just taking rock damage. Uh, eventually he's going to get whittled down to the point where he can't come in anymore. So, And I can sack off Electivire at any time that I choose. Uh, his Suicune may or may not have Ice Beam, which is not necessarily going to put me in a precarious situation because I do still have Electivire, which can knock this thing out. And then Dawn Fan can hit, take, can eat any hit from B Drill, so I can just knock it out with the uh, with the Earthquake af afterwards. So Giga Drain is going to be able to knock out this Suicune, and at this point, I have absolutely no reason to switch out my Sceptile. We're just going to play the Speed Tie game again. Gonna go for the Dragon Pulse. We do not win it. He goes for the Poison Jab. That's fine. I can just go into Dawn Fan, click Earthquake, and knock this thing out. He needs like a Mega Super Crit that doesn't even exist in this game. So, as you can see, that does nothing, and Earthquake is GG. So that's it for this live, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, as always, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel. Make sure to check out my other lives. I play League, ma league matches as well. If you don't know what Draft League is, definitely check it out. Uh, check a couple of my matches out. I'll, I explain pretty much how it works in most of my team builders. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.